My name is Kaito Yanase. I'm 26 years old. Today, I'm out drinking with a friend from my school days. Man, my girlfriend says if I don't have marriage in mind, we should break up. It's not like I haven't been thinking about it, but don't you think we're rushing into things? Well, that's just how it is when you reach your mid-twenties. There's tons of marriage magazines piled on the table. Every month, the stack just keeps getting taller and taller. All I can think about is what'll happen when it finally falls over. Your girlfriend sure is something, hoarding all those magazines. This is no time for jokes. Those magazines just show how long I haven't been able to make up my mind. If you feel that much pressure, why don't you just tie the knot? Like, I thought, if I was this unsure about it, maybe I shouldn't get married. Huh? If I truly loved her, wouldn't I have already? But I don't think I do. Should I really get married? Hmm. Even though you feel that way now, there are people like that that just go through with the marriage and end up happy. But I know how you feel. Could it be you're on the fence about marrying your girlfriend too? Yeah, my girlfriend wants to get married, but I'm unsure about it. So this conversation isn't unfamiliar to me. There's a reason why I'm hesitant to marry my girlfriend Kanako. First, it's hard to get in contact with her. I tried calling you yesterday, but you didn't pick up at all. What happened? Oh, sorry about that. I lost my phone in the house. Looking for it was rough since I always have it on silent. You sure lose it a lot. Isn't it the third time this month? The days that I do have my phone on me, I'll make sure to give you a call. So don't feel lonely. Yeah, gotcha. And she cancels on the last minute. A lot. Ah, uh, Kanako. Today we have a date, right? What's up? Ah, right now I'm at a friend's house. She's heartbroken and sobbing, so I can't leave her by herself. Oh, I see. So I probably can't make it today. Can we go out another time? Yeah, sure. Watching over a sick friend, supporting a broken-hearted friend, helping a friend look for something they lost? It's fine to look out for your friends, but... Are they really all her friends? She's never introduced them to me. They are more the reasons to why I'm hesitant. Ah, I forgot my wallet. Then I'll pay for it. Sorry. Huh? Kanako, where's the ring I gave you for your birthday? Ah, sorry. Actually, I lost it. It's probably somewhere in my room, so I'll look for it. I see. She lost the ring, her wallet. I think she loses too many things. That is worrisome. She can't clean up, her memory's bad, and she doesn't have her priorities straight. That's just how she is, so I don't mind giving her support. But it seems like it's on purpose. When I went to her place, it was clean. I see. Maybe it's because out of all of us, you make the most money? Even I was surprised, but I don't want to think she's a gold digger. Yeah, well, if anything else happens, let's talk about it over a drink. Yeah. It was fun. You already told her we're getting married! Yeah, even if you haven't prepared your heart for it now, we'll get married eventually, right? So how about we meet each other's families for a bit? Can I get both families in one go? Yeah, I want to meet your family too. So it's easier if we just do it all at once, right? The fact that she decided this on her own will? Is this the works of an airhead? Wait, if my family's coming too, it means my blockhead of a sister and Kanako will be in the same room. Uh, I'm hella worried. While I was lost in thought about marriage, 
The day for all of us to meet finally came. Kanako, I just want to say this as a heads up, but my sister is pretty airheaded. Really? That's totally fine. I have friends just like that too. Will my sister be okay? As long as she doesn't run her mouth and blurt out strange things. Hello? Hello! Oh, hey you guys! Huh? It's my little brother. And the girl he's gonna marry is Nogi-san. No way! Uh, is she an acquaintance of yours? Yeah, she's a dispatch worker at my company. Right, Nogi-san? Huh? Didn't you say you were full-time? Uh, I said I wanted to become full-time someday, I think. It's fine. My family just came in not too long ago. Hey, Kaito, what are we doing here? Huh? You came here without knowing why? Get it together! No, I knew our families would be meeting. But I thought an all-out brawl or something was gonna happen. Huh? Why? Am I wrong? Completely! We're here to celebrate, so don't say anything weird! But, like, Nogi-san, aren't you dating that younger guy, Morikun? Huh? I heard that Nogi-san is supporting Morikun financially. What? Who's spreading that lie around? Is it really a lie, though? Morikun was bragging in the office about the expensive watch he bought. Everyone knows. Wait a minute. Don't you think your airheadedness is getting to you? Everything you've just said has been nothing but lies. No. My sis here may not be able to read the room, but she doesn't lie. Huh? Could you explain to everyone what's going on? Kadeko, are you two-timing? What's going on? Spit it out! I... that's... In the very beginning, Kanako denied everything. But after her parents pressed her enough, she finally confessed. The reason why I could never reach her by phone was because she was living with Morikun. Her sudden cancellations were because Morikun asked her on a date. She forgot her wallet on purpose because she didn't want to spend a dime on me. On top of that, she took every present I gave her to the pawn shop and used that money to buy Morikun gifts. Connie. I'm disappointed in you. I almost want to disown you. But as a parent, there's no way I can kick out an immature child such as yourself. Mom. Don't get it twisted. We haven't forgiven you. You're gonna get your act together. So prepare yourself! <laughs> I'm extremely sorry. If there's anything we can do as an apology. How about... We just say this never happened. I never would have thought this would happen at our family meeting, but I feel kind of relieved. After breaking off the engagement with Kanako, Morikun broke up with her too. However, Kanako didn't want to break up with Morikun, so she persistently pursued him. He told the dispatch company, and Kanako was fired. She broke up with me! <laughs> I was dragging my feet, and she kicked me to the curb! Don't worry about it. No need to force a marriage. Don't you think it's good to wait until you meet someone you really want to marry? Yeah, but... Finding someone like that ain't easy. You can say that again. Oh, it's my little brother. Didn't expect to see you here. Oh, could you be Kaito-kun? Hello. Could this be our fated meeting? Getting married is a personal freedom. So at the very least, I want to get married to someone I can trust from the heart. I'm Kaito Suzui. I was a college student. I worked at this karaoke parlor near campus. All right, two fries and a Sunday coming right up. Nishimoto. Can you get the sundae from the fridge? 
Huh? Screw you! The Sunday takes longer. You do it, I'll do the fries. Huh? No, that's not why I asked. I still got other stuff to do, and... Ugh, sorry. I gotta go to the bathroom. What? Wait! What? You want me to hold it in? I'll get sick. No, that's not what I mean, but... Ugh, you're a terrible person. Ugh! She does this all the time! She usually doesn't come back for more than 15 minutes! Her name was Karen Nishki. She was always finding ways to slack off. Our manager stayed away from her at all cost. Can't say that I blame them. I'm sorry! I was basically running the place by myself. She was useless. Why did he hire her anyways? I gotta do something about this. But what? She'll never listen to me. I got no time for this. Finally. She's always on that stupid phone. That's it! Nishki, what the hell? You were gone for like 20 minutes. I had to do everything myself. So you want a medal or something? You're supposed to be working. Do your job. I had to do everything around here. If you don't like this job, quit and do something else. There was just no talking to her. For a second, I thought about it, though. It would be such a relief to just quit and leave this all behind, but... I can't do that to the manager. Stay calm now. I kept telling her to get her act together. Why are you so lazy? Tell me! Huh? I'm just lazy. That's it. What? Then why did you apply to this job in the first place? What the hell is your problem? If you don't like me, quit! If I quit, then what? Nobody wants to work with you. Who's gonna fill in for me? Nobody. And you'll just end up quitting. Work isn't supposed to be fun. You just have to do it! Oh, shut up already. This is none of your business. Yes, it is! We work together! You're my colleague! What? Give me a break! You're just a stranger to me! Don't say that! Most people you meet in life are strangers! What are you, a poet or something? What? No! <sighs> Whatever. But then, something changed inside of her. She started helping out around the store. I could tell that she was trying to help. Nishki, good work! Huh? Uh, whatever. I know I'm not that good at it. What? You're doing fine. Uh, really? Thanks, I guess. Yeah! And if you ever want some advice, I'm always around. Okay. Cool! Anyways, good job today. I know. Want to grab some ice cream after work? My treat! Uh, okay, sure. Oh. Uh... I want the expensive kind. Okay then, let's get back to it. She lacked confidence, so I started complimenting her more. It worked like a charm. Ah, I got nothing to do today. This is nice. I'm just gonna lay in my bed all day long. Oh, who could that be? What the? Nishki? What did you do to her, huh? Yeah, she said she's gonna leave the house and live on her own. Yeah, and she doesn't eat as much anymore. This is all your fault. What? What the hell are they talking about? Um, maybe it's because she eats snacks on her way home after work? Sorry about that. No, you idiot. She can't eat because she's in love with you! Do something about this! Marry her! What? I'm sorry, but it's true. I just can't stop thinking about you. What? I... I got that job to learn a thing or two about the real world. My family is Yakuza, so I wanted to see what it was like to live a normal life, you know? Oh, but the manager. 
He knew about my family, so he never said anything to me. That's why I was slacking off. But when you yelled at me, I was pretty surprised. You were the first one to ever do that to me, so... Uh, I'm sorry? No, don't apologize. I get it now. The manager and the others, they weren't being nice. They were just scared. But you, you said all those things to me because you care about me. So I wanted to thank you. You really taught me a lot. Ah, uh, okay. Yakuza? Seriously? Oh, no. So marry her! Uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, I mean, it's not that I don't like you, but if we get married, I'll be part of the family too, right? Don't worry. She's got an older brother. He'll be taking over the family. Huh? I'm her father. So he's the boss. You better not make my little sister cry. So he's the next leader. So what's it going to be? Answer him. <laughs> Do I even have a choice? <gasps> Stop it, you two. You're scaring him. If you keep this up, I'm never coming home again. Sorry. I guess she's the one in control here. So we started dating. I wasn't really thinking about marriage yet, but I really enjoyed spending time with her. I really liked her. Never thought I'd be dating a girl from a Yakuza family, but life is funny like that. I hope everything works out. Wish me luck. I'm now Hito Ichizu. I'm 26. I work at Sekafushi Co. Work was fun. I also had this girlfriend. Her name was Yuka Kanayoshi. I was thinking about marrying her soon. Ah, that was a good movie. Yeah, I couldn't stop crying. But there was one thing about her that bothered me. So, when can I see your parents? I'd love to meet them. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. They're, they're all busy, so... Oh, okay. Well, whenever they're free then. Just let me know. Oh, uh, okay. For some reason, she never invited me to her house. Maybe her room is messy? I don't know. But if we're going to get married, I want to know more about her family. But what if she's keeping me away from her family for a reason? I don't know. I'm worried. Then I got a text from her. No, Hito! You free this Sunday? Can you come over to my house? Really? Yeah, I'm free! Can't wait! So on Sunday, I went over to her house for the very first time. Hey! Uh, hey! Um, nobody's home today, so... Oh, I see. I brought something for your family. Oh, thank you. Let's eat it later. I was hoping to see your family, but... Oh, well. I don't know anything about her family. She rarely talks about them. Wow! Your room is so clean! Stop staring! You're embarrassing me! <laughs> hey, you got any photo albums? I want to see what you look like as a kid! Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I... I think so, but, but, um... Maybe she doesn't want me looking at her old photos. I'll check, I guess. Thanks! Uh, here. Our photo album. Ah, so this is your family. I see. What the... Wait. This is like the only picture of you. Is this it? Oh, I get it. Huh? That's why she was asking about our plans for the weekend. It all makes sense now. See, Mom? She has a boyfriend. Uh, I guess she's growing up. What the? Oh, hello. I'm now Hito. I'm Yuka's boyfriend. I've been meaning to say hello for a while and... Nice to meet you now, Hito. But, um... Huh? Boyfriend? You don't have to date her, you know. We know she's not that pretty, so... Huh? <sighs> she got her dad's genes. Ugh, it's a shame, really. 
You can do much better than her, Naohito. You work at Sekafushiko, right? She told me. What are you? Oh, you make a lot of money, right? Why are you dating her anyways? You like ugly girls or something? You can do much better than her. What about me? Hey, stop! Yeah, now, Hito, you can be honest with us. Mika is way prettier than Yuka. <sighs> I love Yuka. She's the only one for me. End of story. <sighs> now get out of my face! Oh, that's a shame. Come on, Mom, let's go. Yeah, forget him. No, Hito. You don't have to say anything. I understand now. Then she started telling me about her family. Her mom. She treated Yuka like crap. All she cared about was her older sister, Mika. Dad is nice to me, but he's never home, so... I see. I was thinking about introducing my parents to them, but let's not do that. It'll just lead to trouble. What about the wedding? Honestly, I don't want to invite them. Of course. Huh. I don't think they'll come even if we invite them, so... Yuka, I'm sorry you had to go through all of this. But I'm glad I found out. No worries. I'm going to be a really good husband to you. Now, Hito... A few days later... Hey... I asked them if they wanted to come to the wedding, and they said yes. What? I think they're after your guests. Your colleagues, I mean. I wasn't expecting that. We could just not invite them, but they'll probably just show up anyways. Yeah, uh, thanks. I don't want any trouble, so let's just invite them. I'll talk to my colleagues beforehand. Sorry about this, Naohito. It's not your fault. It'll be fine. Your dad will be there too, so... Then it was our wedding day. We were still a bit worried about our mom and sister, but the day was finally here. Congratulations! You were right about her sister, though. She followed me for like an hour. Oh, sorry about that. No, it's okay. Now Hito told me about them. Anyways, congratulations! Thanks, man. Her sister was bothering some of the guests, but other than that, it was a beautiful wedding. Next, we will be hearing from the bride's father. He'll be reading a letter to his daughter. What? What about the groom's father? Yuka, first of all, congratulations. I'm gonna miss having you around the house, but I'm really happy for you. And, uh, I'm glad you don't have to live with your mother anymore. I know she treated you like garbage all these years, and I'm sorry I couldn't do anything about it. I thought about divorce many times, but since I was always working, it was very likely the courts would rule in her favor, so there was nothing I could do. I could not just leave you with her. I'm just making excuses, I know. But now you're free. I'm so happy to see you like this. I want you to go live your life. And now, Hito, thank you for everything. Lastly, Yuka, I'm sorry about everything. I should have done more as your father. Again, congratulations. I love you from the bottom of my heart. What the? Next, the bride will read a letter to her father. Dad, thank you for everything. Dad, you were the only family I had. You were always so nice to me. You always had my back. You always cheered me on. You mean the world to me, Dad. You're the best father a girl could ask for. <laughs> I love you, Dad. And I'll always love you. Some of the guests looked confused, but the speech was over. Then, the party came to an end. Overall, it was a beautiful wedding. A few months later, Yuka's parents got a divorce. Her dad kept logs about his wife's behavior over the years. The courts ruled in his favor. Hey! About the new house. Why don't you ask your dad to come live with us? Huh? I'd love that, but are you sure? Of course. He's family now. A few months later, we all started living together. They've been through a lot, but I'm just glad everything worked out for them. My name is Daisuke Surunaga. 
I work as a truck driver for a transportation company. I honestly have just been driving so long that I haven't had time to make a girlfriend. Before I knew it, I was 29. I'm back! Tsurunaga, you took 30 minutes longer than usual. Where did you take a nap? There was an accident on the way. I contacted you as soon as I found out. Uh-huh. I'm sure you were actually matching apps to try to meet someone. It's not like you can find someone in real life. <laughs> this girl is Lane Arita. She's a new employee that's just joined our company. However, she seems to be getting a lot of attention from all the old men around the office, and that's letting her think that she can treat me however she wants. She loves to tease me about the fact that I haven't had a girlfriend for 29 years. I wouldn't look at my phone while driving. I didn't even care that much to find someone anyway. A truck driver like me? Pfft. I don't need a girlfriend. What? What a loser! I'm pretty sure you're going to be single forever. <laughs> this little brat. I told her that I was in love with my work, and my truck was my girlfriend, but apparently she thought that was enough to mock me. Oh, hey Tsunanaga. Are you going on a date? Don't forget to clean your date from the inside. She might be upset if you don't work hard. <laughs> How would a truck get upset? Huh? Sarang and a dating someone? Apparently, he started dating his truck because he couldn't find a real woman. Stop talking about it to other people! <laughs> well, Sarangana does take his job very seriously. I knew he wasn't a charming old man, but I didn't think he'd stoop to dating his truck. I'm heading out now! She's so annoying. How can I get her back? How can I at least stop her from bothering me? Is it really that interesting that I don't have a girlfriend? Uh, maybe if I just say I have a girlfriend, she'll leave me alone. Because I got tired of her teasing me, I decided to lie and say that I did have a girlfriend that lives with me. Hey, Mr. Tsuranaga. How was your date with your girlfriend? Nope. No date. But I gotta go home soon. Can't keep her waiting. Huh? Someone waiting? Yeah. I started living with my girlfriend. Wait, what? But you said you didn't have a girlfriend. Is there really a point in bragging? I didn't want to be too obvious, so I just kept it a secret at work. I mean, maybe, but what kind of girl is your girlfriend? She's incredibly cute. Uh, I see. I didn't know you compliment your girlfriend like that in public. I mean, yeah. I didn't know she was that cute until I started living with her. You're bragging now. I thought she was more cold. But when she comes over, she acts like a smitten girl. She won't let go of me. I see. Isn't that a little too much? I don't think so. I think that's totally acceptable. Crap! I probably spoke too much. Anyways, I gotta get going. I need to cook. Y you cook for her? Even when you're working this hard, she won't cook for you? Why the hell do you live together then? I mean, she kinda heals me when she's around me. What? I think you'd be happier with someone who would cook for you. I cook for you every day. I think you're just stupid because you never really got attention for women. <laughs> you're just helping a woman that doesn't care about you. Uh, what's going on? If you stay with her, you'll never be happy. What the hell? I didn't expect her to start crying when I told her I have a girlfriend. I'm home. Wow. Aww, you're so cute. I love living with a cat. I'm so glad I got you. <laughs> I pretended that you were my girlfriend today. The woman at work cried because of it. I don't understand women. <coughs> the next week, Miss Arita had prepared a lunch meal for me. How about you have this for lunch today? I felt really bad because you don't even have a girlfriend that cooks for you. I wanted to help you understand if you're going to date someone, you should date someone that likes to cook. Oh, uh, it's okay. <laughs> you can't eat from someone other than your girlfriend? She's crying again? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I gotta ask. Are you upset because I said I had a girlfriend? 
Would it be better if I didn't have a girlfriend? That I'd be single all my life? I don't think so. I mean, I was actually thinking that I could marry you. What? But then you go and have a girlfriend that you live with. You're such an ass. I believe that you didn't have a girlfriend. You were such a liar. Oh, but uh, sorry. I actually, uh... What are you sorry for? Sorry. This is the girlfriend I live with. Huh? So there's no woman that walks upright? Nope. Uh, oh, okay. Of course you wouldn't have someone who walks upright dating you. <laughs> the girlfriend after your truck is a cat. Uh, weren't you saying something about marrying me a second ago? Uh, that... Anyway, the only reason I lied about it was because you wouldn't shut up about me not having a girlfriend. Huh? Oh well. I appreciate you cooking for me though. So, I'll go ahead and have it for lunch. Alright, I'm out. B be safe. After that, she approached me constantly, cooking meals for me and wanting to go out with me on weekends. I really liked Miss Arita after she stopped teasing me so much. I couldn't say no. Well, we have work tomorrow. Let's go home. Oh, already? Yeah, I get tired when I walk around all day. I'm an old man. Should you really be saying that right now? I mean, you've been calling me old man for how long now? I've been brainwashed into believing that I am an old man. Sorry. Oh, can I see your cat then? Huh? Now? I mean, I still want to be with you. You're fine with exercise as long as we're inside, right? I guess I should just go for it. I mean, yeah, but you really want to exercise with this old man? I don't mind because I like you. Alrighty then. After that, we started dating officially that night. She's younger than me and she can be a smartass, but I don't mind spending time around her. My name is Kaito Senzaki. I've always had a distinct lack of expression, and students have always wondered what I was thinking. That guy always has the same expression! I've never even seen him smirk! What a bore! I don't know what he's thinking. It's kinda creepy. I am definitely sad. Why are they so mean? Before I knew it, I turned 28, with no one understanding how I felt. I was enjoying my time bar hopping. Oh, hey, are you alone? You look bored. Yeah, I am a little bored. Would you like to go play with me? I'm bored too. Oh, I'm okay. I enjoy being here. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Hey, how about you listen to what he says the first time he says it? What? Huh? He doesn't look like he's not liking it. I don't know about that. He looks annoyed by you. I can't tell. Whatever. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. We didn't say much after that. We just drank next to each other. The next day I showed up to the same bar. The woman from yesterday was there. Oh, hey. Do you come here every day? Hey. Yeah. Pretty much every day. Do you like to drink? Not particularly. I see. I feel bad. She's trying so hard to talk to me. I'm sure she's gonna think I have some kind of communication disorder. What's wrong? Huh? You look upset. You made a face. A face? Did I? Yeah, was I being intrusive? Oh, no. Not at all. Oh, okay. You are not just under the impression that just because you don't make any expressions, just because you're not very good at expressing yourself, right? Oh, yeah. Actually, that's been bothering me my whole life. Ah, so that's why you think that I couldn't tell. Sorry to tell you, but I can see it in your face. My face? No way. People always tell me how I don't have any expressions. Really? That's weird. 
But you even told me that you felt like I'd get upset because you wouldn't respond in a way that I felt appropriate. I mean, yeah. But could you really see that in my face? I didn't think anyone has ever told me that. You can't hide from me. Want to try something then? Take these two papers and write old lady on one of them without showing me. Okay. Here you go. Okay, this one says old lady. Huh? This one is the blank. I could see it in your face. That's incredible. I've never lost a game of poker in my life. I guess to regular people, it just looks like you have a perpetual poker face. So, you're not regular people. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I really hit it off with this woman that I started drinking with. Her name is Yukina, and we started drinking often in the same bar. You know, you don't drink much from how long you stay. Yeah, I don't really want to get drunk. I guess you mentioned how you don't really like alcohol. What brings you to a bar then? I just don't like to be alone at home, so I bar hop. <laughs> Do you want to live together then? What? Ah, you look so happy now. You're teasing. I definitely didn't make a face. Nah, you totally did. Do you want a date while we're at it? I mean, if you're okay with me. I'm more than okay with you. For some reason, I ended up living with her. And somehow, in a relationship with this woman. I pay for rent, and we split for food and living. As soon as we started living together, Yukina started working at a bar, and we basically had the opposite schedule. However, she took care of the house, and I enjoyed living with someone. Oh, you're off to work? Yeah, sorry, you're not upset, are you? Nope. Silly. I can see it plain as day that you're upset. Let's go on a date when I'm off next weekend. I felt very good living with her. Unfortunately, my company went under one day. While I was out of a job, I didn't want to put so much burden on Yukina, so I made her an offer. So, I'd like to move to a cheaper place. Let's break up. I'm definitely going to look for a job, but in this day and age, I doubt I'll find something quickly. I don't want to be a bother. What? That's the reason? How about you just work at our store until you find a new job? What? At your bar? I mean, technically it's a store that I run, although I have other businesses up my sleeve. Wait, who are you? My father runs a few amusement facilities, like bowling alleys, game centers, golfing ranges, etc. Your father sounds incredible. He's got so many businesses that he can't handle all of it, so I help him out. That's why it wouldn't be a bother at all to hire you. Thank you. But I feel like that's all the more reason we should split up. You're too good for me. That's not true at all! You didn't ask anything about me. Most people around me want some kind of fame or fortune, but you seemed too calm. I always wanted to be with you, and you're going to leave me? I don't laugh or smile much, but you want to be with me? Your father might say the same things as those before, about how I'm a freak, and I don't have a heart. Silly, I know you don't want to leave me. Someone with no heart wouldn't be shedding tears over the thought of splitting up. Yukina, I love you. You're probably the first person in my life to understand me. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I love you, Kaito. I went to say hello to Yukina's father. I told him we were dating with marriage in mind. He was glad to hear and gave us his blessing. Afterwards, I started helping out at Yukina's business. And I started helping run the business as well. Ah. I really like drinking with you at this bar. Me too. I know you're being all anxious. Are you going to propose to me today? Ah, I knew it! Come on, Yukina. I know you're good at reading me and all. But you have to let me have this one. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just happy as all. 
<sighs> okay. Please, marry me. My name is Koki Nakatani. I have a girlfriend that I've dated since high school. Her name is Mayumi Watanabe. She was bright and very responsible. Man, I can't believe we're already graduating. It's been so fast. We won't be in the same classroom anymore. Yeah, we'll be going to different colleges. But we can still be together, right? Of course. We're still in the same city, so it won't be a problem. But if you go to college, you might find someone who's prettier than me. Oh, shut up! I have no intention of dating anyone other than you! We already promised we'd be together forever. My parents are rooting for us too. That's true. <sighs> Everyone knows we have marriage in our future. <laughs> exactly. So don't even worry about me cheating on you, okay? Okay, I trust you. Mayumi and I have grown up together. Both our parents got along with each other too, and we started dating with their approval in high school. Even if we went to separate colleges, I thought we'd keep dating. But I was betrayed. I found someone else that I like more, so... What? Uh, I don't understand. You don't like me anymore. Shouldn't we talk about this more? It's not that I don't like you, I just found someone that I like more. You two are already dating? Yes. So you cheated on me. Koki, I feel bad for you, but can you just back down from this? What? Even though you had promised to get married, it was a young love kind of thing, right? I know you've been holding back your feelings with other women because you've been dating Mayumi, but you don't have to do that anymore. Exactly. You probably already found someone in your college too, right? What? Why are they talking as if I already found someone else too? Sorry if it's a bother, but who did you like more than me? Well, he goes to T-University. T-Uni? The top uni in Japan, huh? Don't you think it makes more sense to choose the person that's best fit to take care of you if you're going to marry them? I know it's probably not ideal for you, but if you care at all for Mayumi's future, it's probably for the best. Exactly. If you love Mayumi at all, then you'll just back down quietly. Uh, uh-huh. I was in such disbelief and shock that I complained to my parents as soon as I got home. What? what? Yeah, I'm literally at a loss for words. I honestly can't believe the mother. I don't think I can talk to her anymore. Yeah, that household always cared a lot about titles and fame. I didn't know people could betray you this easily. Don't worry about it, Koki. This kind of thing only happens once in life. The next person will be the best person for you. Exactly. Don't try to give yourself away to a family that doesn't even think you're special. Yeah, thanks. I'll use this as motivation. Both my parents rooted for me, and I was going to become someone she would feel bad about breaking up with. After I graduated college, I found employment at a big firm and worked hard. Five years later, I was fairly well off compared to the rest of my classmates. Wow, that's an amazing suit, Koki! Yeah, what is that watch? What kind of work do you do? <laughs> Nothing legal, right? It's just a regular office job. I dabble in stocks a little bit. You look really good! <laughs> I just had extra motivation compared to everyone else. <laughs> oh, hey, Koki. Oh, hey, look. It's your wife, Koki. When are you two gonna get married? I was actually dumped a while ago. We don't talk anymore. What? Really? So, you're single now? Uh... Sorry, I have to talk to Koki real quick! What? Uh, I missed you. What? Save me, Koki. My whole family and I are in trouble. What? What happened? Do you remember the T-Uni student that I left you for? He turned out to be a terrible person. <laughs> I was tricked. <laughs> he immediately cheated on me after getting married and spent all his money on the women he was cheating with. On top of that, he was swarmed in debt and everyone around him got pulled into his mess. <sighs> that sucks. I'm sure you two will get through it. You're married after all. Even if we are married, there's no love there anymore. My mom and dad are both struggling to pay off my debt too. Please help. I have no obligation or reason to help you anymore. We're complete strangers. 
You decided to leave me for the other guy. I have no intentions of ever being around you again. But we're childhood friends! How can you say that? I'm just curious. What kind of thought process did you have to come ask me for money after you dumped me like that? Did you think you could rely on me again? You married someone with a brighter future than me, right? Just believe in your future and work hard. No! I only have you! I don't really care. I already have someone. You cheater! You have money, right? Help me! Uh, she's not really listening to me. Even after the reunion finished, Mayumi was following me around. Koki! Please, I'll do anything! Uh, I really wanted to enjoy the reunion, and then I had to deal with this. How long is she gonna follow me around? As I ran back to my home, Mayumi and her parents came knocking on my door. Please! Please, Koki! Mayumi only ever loved you! Please, help Mayumi become happy! How pitiful is this? What kind of mentality do you have to come begging? Pretty sad, but a little scary too, should we call the police? Hmm... Koki, did you tell them that you already have someone you're going to marry? I told Mayumi, but... Mm, maybe you should tell the parents too. <clears throat> Excuse me! I already have someone I'm going to marry, so I don't have any intention of being near Mayumi at all. Please, go home. You're causing trouble. But you're not married yet, so I still have a chance. Unlike you, I take my love seriously. You actually got married, right? What kind of chance do you have? If you have time to say such preposterous BS, maybe you should try reconsidering your own actions. Please, uh, we, we don't have to get along. Can you just loan me some money? I'll do anything. You do anything? Yeah, of course. Then turn around and go home. And don't ever show up around me or my family again. Just because you have a change of heart doesn't mean that those around you will also be willing to accept it. If you come around here again, I will call the police. <laughs> when she figured out that I was not going to give in at all, Mayumi never showed up around me again. Please welcome the groom and bride. When I look back, there was a lot that happened since high school, but I was still able to get married. I'm glad I was able to bounce back and use that anger as fuel for my success. My name is Riku Arami. I'm a 25-year-old office worker. On Friday, I went out for drinks with some of my co-workers. What? You still don't have a girlfriend? Dude, be quiet. You really get drunk easily, don't you? My brother is going to get married soon. Oh really? Your brother? Yeah, he shows me pictures of her sometimes. She's really pretty and is really great at her job. She has the best sales records out of her co-workers. No way! I didn't know people like that existed outside of books! Yeah, we're supposed to see her the day after tomorrow, but my brother seems stoked. Hmm, are you positive your house is within walking distance? Are we even walking in the right direction? Yes, sir! It's this way! And somehow, we ended up in some love hotel district! Uh? <sighs> what a wasted walk. It's alright. I'll just send him off in a taxi with his address. You sure? Thank you. Oh well, time to go home. Hmm? What? That's... that's Miss Erika! My brother's fiance! Who's she with? I started snapping photos without even thinking about what was going on. I took pictures because I didn't know what to do. That was... her, right? I mean, maybe it was someone else? I'll see her today after tomorrow. It has to be her, but she's supposed to get married. I can't believe it. Hold on, it could totally be someone that looks like her. Hey, bro, is Erika with you? Erika? No, she's supposed to be out with the girls tonight. She said she'd stay overnight with them. Why? Is something up? Oh, uh, okay. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to you later. Hmm, it's possible that she didn't even really go into the hotel. I have to find out. I'm off tomorrow anyway. I'll hang out here and wait for them to come out. Hey! What are you doing here? Ah! You're being so 
super suspicious, wandering around the hotel all quietly. <laughs> Maybe I should call the police. Who, who is this? She seems kind of easy. Maybe she's in that world? Anyway, I can't have her calling the police. No, no, I have my reasons. And that's why I'm here. I see. Now I get why you're here. That sounds fun. Count me in. What? What is this girl talking about? I don't think you should be out here at night, being a woman, alone. Plus, you don't really have a reason to stick around. If you're not a dangerous person, I can just hang around you. I'll go buy us snacks for the night. Wait, hold on! <sighs> Who is this? After that, for some reason, I continued to watch with this woman that I didn't even know the name of. That's... Damn it. It's for sure. Why are you taking pictures? You don't need to. I don't know. You were taking pictures, so... And I'm pretty sure that's definitive proof that she's cheating. Hmm... The day of the meeting... Nice to meet you. I'm Ishiki. The pleasure is all mine. She would always talk to me about how great Makoto looked in his suit, and how she couldn't get enough of him when he came home. <laughs> Daddy, stop! <laughs> I actually heard you were a great sales rep at your job. Makoto wouldn't stop talking about it. Excuse me, I need to talk. Riku, show them. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Wh what, what is, is this? this? What? How? This is a photo that Riku took when he was walking home from work the other night. He stayed outside a hotel to make sure what he saw was real. Care to explain this? Uh, 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 Erika? It, it was a work meeting. I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure out that this isn't a regular hotel. What kind of work were you two talking about? You don't understand. At first we were going to talk about our business at a hotel lounge, and then all the other lounges were taken, so we just had to find another lounge. Do you really think that makes any amount of sense? You, you have to believe me. I never did anything. We're getting married. Rico didn't go into the hotel to confirm, right? I mean, yeah, but... You're saying nothing happened? Yeah! Excuse me. Can you tell me your side of the story? What? Mr. Higuchi, why are you here? Yeah, this is the guy from the photos. He didn't know that I knew Eguchi. We actually worked together before. And needless to say, I've already spoken to him to find out the truth. You told me you didn't do anything, right? Eric, no, Miss Iski. You didn't tell me you were engaged. I even knew the groom. I feel terrible. I know you didn't know. Don't feel guilty. You didn't do anything wrong. I've heard you apologize enough. I'm so sorry. So, you were dating Erika, or...? Huh? Oh, well, uh, actually... Hmm? Wait, so they weren't dating? What could be the alternative? Well, our company has some rumors about Erika and, uh, um, uh, how she's fairly easy. Well... <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's that girl from before! Why is she here? Wait! You left something! Wait... What the hell? What is this? Tanaka! Suzuki... Takahashi... There are more men... What is this about? Are these all workers from your office, Mr. Eguchi? These are all names I know... They're people that Erika Secure deals with... Erika... Did you get to the top of the sales because... I'm so sorry. I just had to use what I had to get to the top of sales because I was such a bad sales rep. Erika! I'm sorry! After that, you could say things were very tense to say the least. Of course, the wedding was called off, but my brother reported his findings to her boss, and Erika was moved to the back rooms. Now, all she does is sit at a computer and input data. My brother actually managed to see the contact details and is working on securing new deals with the other workers. What a businessman. Hey, Riku! Oh, what? Where did you come from? 
And who are you? Oh, here's my card. Sekafushi P.I. Office. Miku Fukada. P.I.? Yeah, <laughs> Uguchi's office actually had me hired to follow him around because they suspected foul play in his business deals. Wait, so did you trip in front of us on purpose? I'm sure it worked out for you considering the truth was revealed. By the way, all the men who slept with her were let go, FYI. Anyway, don't you think we make a great team? Do you want to come work for us at the office? Uh, what? Uh, let me go. Come on, we even have similar names. I did not know that this would continue, and we were about to see a whole lot more. I'm Tsubasa Kotobuki, 31 years old. I run a company with about 40 employees. I've worked for several companies before starting my own. My previous experience is helping me run the business well. We're a small company, but everyone in it has been sharpened through the rough and tumbles of the industry. It was possible to achieve great results even with a small number of people. Ah, we're finally done with that project. His name is Hayato Yamamoto. He was my junior when I was a student, and I asked him to join my current company. He is my right-hand man. Why don't we go eat some expensive sushi as a reward? You're kidding! Don't tell anyone, okay? I can't afford to bring everyone. Thank you so much! And so we went to a high-end sushi restaurant after work. Hi, I made a reservation in Kotobuki. Kotobuki-san, we've been expecting you. May I take your order? The counter was already prepared for reserved seating and there were two other groups of customers at the restaurant. Hayato, what do you want? What should I start with at a place like this? It's okay to start with what you like. We also have a special course if you would like. 10,000 yen per person. Well, since it's a reward, might as well. We'll take the special course. Whoa! Thanks, senpai! I'm not used to going to high-end sushi restaurants either, so I ordered the chef's recommended course. <laughs> They're having the special course, Katsuo-san. Those poor guys. They must work so hard to go out of their way to come to a place like this. What's up with them? Are they laughing at us? They don't even know how to order sushi. I knew they were poor amateurs. I can tell just by looking at what they're wearing. Yeah, they look poor. The right way to order sushi is by starting off with white meat, then red meat, followed by a roll. Otherwise, you can't fully appreciate the flavor of sushi. Too many amateurs don't understand that. As an upper-class member of society, I can tell just by looking at someone. Those guys are probably working for a small firm. He's trying so hard to look good in front of his employee. I feel sorry for him. Katsuo-san, you're so knowledgeable. Oh, since you're rich, you must be used to eating sushi at a place like this. They're nowhere near your level. Ah, what a way to ruin our mood. Well, they look like they're already finished eating, so let's wait it out. First up, here's your medium fatty tuna. Thank you. That guy said something about starting off with white meat. This is red meat. Mmm, so good! It's delicious! Isn't it great, senpai? Thank you! How's the size of the sushi? If you'd like any changes, please let me know! It's perfect! The course starts off with medium fatty tuna? It depends on the situation and season. Plus, sushi should be eaten however you like. There's no such thing as the right way. The chef's thoughtfulness allowed us to fully enjoy the delicious sushi afterwards. About a week later, I took Hayato with me to discuss a new project with our client. Wow! Look at the building! I wish our company could own one like that. I'm sure that'll come later down the line. Let's just take it one step at a time. <sighs> My mom's calling. I'm in the middle of work. Sorry, senpai. I'll catch up with you in a minute. All right, I'll just check us in. Excuse me, I'm here for a meeting with Iwabuchi-san? Huh? Is this the person at the sushi restaurant last time? I shall call him right over now. Please be seated in the lobby. Uh, okay. What a surprise. I guess she was the receptionist here. Hello, Kotobuki-san. Thank you so much for visiting us. 
No problem. I look forward to working with you. Sorry for the wait, senpai. Oh, Iwabuchi-san. Well, let me introduce you to my employee. His name is Hayato Yamamoto. Nice to meet you. I'm Iwabuchi. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I'm Yamamoto. Pleasure to you as well. Is something wrong? Huh? Wasn't she at the sushi place? Come on, you don't have to say that here. You. I hope you weren't rude to them in any way. Uh, n no, 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 not, not at all. <laughs> they, they, they aren't our client, are they? What are you talking about? It's the other way around. We're their client. What? Kotobuki-san's company only has 40 employees, but I hear it's doing quite well. Annual sales are said to be around $30 billion. $30 billion? We're honored to be involved this time. Please, come on over. That receptionist was about to turn blue. I guess there are people who underestimate the company just by looking at the size. I was afraid you were going to say something unnecessary. Let's forget about what happened at the sushi restaurant. It has nothing to do with work. What? We're their client, and they're here right now. Hey, Katsuo, is there some kind of trouble? Uh, I Iwabuchi-san. <laughs> huh? That guy too. Was it an office romance? Looks like it. Yes, this is Katsuo, our department chief. As a matter of fact, he recently married our president's daughter, and the president is looking out for him. Ch chief you don't have to mention that. Huh? It's a public matter. It shouldn't be a problem. Yes, but, uh... Katsuo-san, I look forward to working with you in the future. Well then, Kotobuki-san, please come in. After that, we finished up with the meeting and left the room. What a surprise, isn't it? Looks like those two who made fun of us at the sushi restaurant were on a date. Was it a good thing we didn't tell Iwabuchi-san about this? Well, that's a difficult question. It's their relationship, so I'm not sure if we as strangers have a right to intervene. I'd understand if we were friends or acquaintances, but... There you are, Kotobuki-san. You... you haven't told Iwabuchi-san about what happened a few days ago, have you? No, we haven't. Um, please keep my relationship with the receptionist confidential. I'll transfer money to your account later if you wish. As long as I can maintain the marriage, I won't have to worry about money. Huh? What do you mean by relationship with the receptionist, Katsuo? Uh, That's quite an interesting story, isn't it? Could you tell me in detail? I'll make sure to report it to the president. Whoa, whoa, wait a second, please! It's not what you think it is! It's just a misunderstanding! Well, what I mean by that is... The next day... Huh? That lady isn't here. Uh, what happened to the other receptionist? She has resigned. Thanks to Kotobuki-san and your employee, Katsuo's case was finally brought to light. We appreciate it. The president was furious and Katsuo ended up getting fired and divorced. The receptionist resigned as well. Apparently, they were having an affair before Katsuo got married. Is that right? They were still newlyweds, so I'm glad the wounds are not too deep. Thank you, Kotobuki-san and Yamamoto-san. We look forward to a good relationship in the future. Uh, Considering that the affair would still be going on if we hadn't run into each other at the sushi bar, I'm glad the bad feelings we had that day were not in vain. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.